This is Ben Ordaz, lecturer of tuba and euphonium at NAU, and these are the 2021 Aboda Regional Etudes for Tuba, taken from set four of the Aboda Etudes by Doug Akey. In general, if you're taking this audition, you'll want to record these etudes every day before submitting your tape, and you'll want to listen back to your recordings at least twice. This way you can hear precisely what state your playing is in. Pay close attention to articulation marks and dynamic markings as they change. You will be judged on them, so take each one of them seriously. Last but not least, you'll want to write in your breath marks wherever you can, because it's the single best way to plan each one of your full performances. Let's look at some specific markings and notes for the first etude. Accents and dynamic marks must be clear on the recordings as there are so many of them. Also, you won't want to breathe on the bar lines in line two as the style is very lyrical and you'll want good proper phrasing. Etude number two is much different than number one. You'll want to use your tuner all of the time because the style is sustained and poor intonation cannot be hidden. Also, in the 3-4 bar near the end, you will need to place beat number two precisely where it should be and not early, like you might be tempted to do when playing. <laughs> Etude number three, like etude number one, should be played strong. But unlike number one, it is a dance, so it should be played with light articulations throughout. To that end, you'll want to play the staccato marks precisely all the way through, and also place the right accents on the right beats, two measures before the end, to produce the hemiola, or a three over two effect. You'll hear what I mean. <laughs> Now let's look at the Allstate Etudes. Etude number four is particularly challenging to your fast playing technique. The most important things to remember are to stay in time and to recognize that the eighth notes are particularly difficult. Practice those eighth notes slowly for clarity's sake. Then gradually speed up the tempo one or two clicks at a time until the written tempo of 120 is reached. <laughs> Etude 5 is much more vocal than Etude 4, so like the second Etude in this set, you'll want to phrase expressively and make your breathing unobtrusive by marking in your breaths beforehand. But because Etude 5 is also written in C-sharp minor, it's more difficult as C-sharp minor is not often familiar to us. So you'll also want to stay in tune by practicing other music in this particular key, starting with sequences of scales that include the lowest and highest notes in this etude. <laughs> 